As our group was doing research for our project, one of us came across a quote that really seemed to relate to our topic. It was created by a man called Tracy Dennis Leonard, and it said, If only my pockets were as generous as my thoughts, world hunger would be no more, homelessness would be a memory, and poverty would cease to exist. We may have seen that homeless person on the sidewalk in a city, or a broken house in bad shape that may make us question just what goes on in those people's lives. Do they have enough money? Are they getting enough food to eat? For a lot of us, it's easy to get stuck in our own world. We don't have to worry about getting enough to eat because food is something we have plenty of almost all the time. But for others, it's different. At our school in Burke, for the school year of 2017 through 2018, 54.8% of the K through 8th population are eligible for the free and reduced meal program. Out of the 31,000 people living in the CNSU school district, around 14% are living in poverty, according to the United States Census. And so, that's where we come in. Our project idea is working towards addressing and solving the problem of hunger and poverty in our community. Through creating two gardens at our school and in our town, we will be bringing the community closer together while making a hunger-free place one meal at a time. Our group is determined to make an easily accessible community garden at our local meal site. We will create similar gardens at our school. One of the gardens at school will hold specifically pizza ingredients. We'll be partnering with another task force to use produce to make pizza and give it to the community. It will have to be maintained in the summer, so one of our goals is to get people involved and make this project sustainable. With the grant money, we hope to purchase a garden tower, which is a hydroponic system that grows plants in a tower which is conserving space. One of the upsides of the tower garden is it doesn't have to be weeded because there is no soil and it just has to be picked. Therefore, it will be easier to maintain in the summer. In the second part of our project, we will have a bigger garden in the community center in Burke. This garden will be less for our school and more for our community. But we came across the concern of taking care of the garden in the summer. So we came up with the idea of a farm stand. Except this farm stand, you don't need to pay money to get food. You just need to do some work in the garden. In the stand, we will have a log book, so people who take food or do work will sign into it and we can see how many people are participating. We are creating the community garden to help with hunger and to bring the community together. We hope to have a strong impact on the community and help many with this garden. Mother Teresa said, if you can't feed a hundred people, then feed just one. With doing this project, we are seeking for a lasting effect for years to come. We hope by completing a community garden, we will inspire others to make a difference in their own community. To make a difference, we need your help. Please, if interested, please contact us at my email address. This is a problem that needs to be solved. Let's, Let's make, make the, the difference. difference. <laughs>